CIDP stands for Chronic Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyradiculoneuropathy. It is a rare but treatable condition caused by overactive immune system attacking the outer protective layer or myelin layer of the nerves in the arms and the legs. The most common problems that people with CIDP complain of are pins and needles and numbness in the hands and feet, which usually come on gradually over months. By the time most people see a doctor, they also have some weak muscles as well, often with difficulty walking, going upstairs, getting up from low chairs or out of a car. Sometimes there can be weakness in the hands with problems doing buttons, typing, turning keys or opening bottles. The specific difficulties vary from person to person depending on which nerves are inflamed or irritated. CIDP is diagnosed and treated by a neurologist. The diagnosis is made on the basis of the pattern of symptoms and how they develop, the examination findings and some investigations including nerve conduction studies, blood tests, lumbar puncture and sometimes an MRI of the lower spine. There is no one test that confirms or excludes the diagnosis of CIDP, but when someone has a correct combination of findings, a confident diagnosis can be made by an appropriately specialised doctor. CIDP is an important condition to consider, as unlike many other causes of neuropathy, it is potentially treatable. There are a number of different treatment options, all of which dampen down or remove the inflammation or immune attack of the nerves. The commonest options are steroids or immunoglobulin infusions. There are pros and cons to each treatment choice and the decision is always based on what is best for the individuals. Not all patients will require long-term treatment as in about 40% of cases the immune attack burns itself out over time. Some people do need treatment to protect the nerves from ongoing inflammation.